Now that we've investigated creating an XML file to use with the connection tags workflow, the next step would be to create your structural analysis model and run your analysis. After running your analysis, we can go and start assigning connections to the members that we want to design connections for. Now let's take a look at our example model here in our analytical modeler in STAD Pro. So now we're in our STAD Pro example model here and we're ready to assign connections. So what I've done here is I've turned on all of the member numbers. So you see members 17, 18, 19, and also I've turned on the end colors. The green represents the starting end of the member and the blue represents the end of the member. So what we're going to do here uh, is we're going to render this model first before we assign any connections uh, so we can see the other elements such as the section properties that are in this model. Now that we've rendered the model we can see here we have a number of columns and beams that are W shaped. We also have some tapered sections. Uh, we have some channel members. We have some angles and some hollow sections. So we'll be able to assign connections to these various members in these different configurations. So let's go ahead and assign some connections. I'm going to go to the Utilities tab and I'm going to go to the Connection Tags. And first let's just open our tag so we can see the XML file that we want to use. We've already created the XML file. I'm going to navigate to the XML file that I want to assign here. You can have multiple XML files that you set up. Once I open that, I can go back to Utilities, Connection Tags, and I can view the tags. What this does is it pulls open this tag window and it allows me to view the uh, categories of tags I have and also assign them at the same time. For our first connection tag assignment, we're going to create a beam column flange connection using our connection tags. And we're going to assign this to members 17 and 20 at both ends of the member. With our connection tag dialog box open, we can review our connections available. We'll just hit this button here to open up the connection tag dialog and we can look at the different categories that we have here. So you can see we have basic column connections, beam connections, smart column, smart beams, basic BCF beam column flange, uh, beam column web. So you can see the connections that we have here. Before we assign our connection tags, let's go ahead and select the members that we want to assign the connections to. I'm selecting members 17 and 20 and we're going to go ahead and uh, assign a directly welded connection to these members. I'll go back here to Utilities, Connection Tags, View Tags. I'm going to go to the category I want for the directly welded connection. This is going to be a smart connection it's going to be a smart BCF connection and then under that category we'll select the connection tag that we want which is going to be fully welded beam column flange connection and we can choose to define the releases but for this model we've already defined the releases in the model so what I'm going to do here is assign that connection tag to both ends of the members. So I'll choose the start and the end. Then I'll hit the assign button. 
Once I've hit the assign button here, you can see at each member the tag that's being assigned. With these tags assigned, we can rerun our analysis and review the connection tags or the connection design in RAM connection. So let's run our analysis. Now that our analysis is complete, we can hit done and we can go to our connection design workflow. In RAM connection, we can now see that the connection tags have already been uh, assigned to the members and their status is showing up um, in the connection design. So we have two uh, members that have connections at both ends and we can review those connections by just simply clicking on the connection. Here you'll see that the directly welded uh, connection is showing the welds. Uh, it's showing a status of green and a ratio of capacity to demand of 94 percent. We'll also have our drawings that are available so you can see here uh, the member sizes are called out, the steel properties are called out, and the welds are also called out. Let's try this again for another type of connection. I'm going to exit the connection pad here and before I exit uh, RAM connection I'm going to delete these assigned connections. The tags will keep the information within the STAD model so even by deleting them here I'm not losing uh, any information. Let's go back to the analytical modeling workflow and we're going to assign connection tags to members 18, 19, and 22. And let's start with some more moment connections. Uh, so we will do a moment uh, angle connection. We will do a moment flange plate connection. And we already did the fully welded uh, connection. And we're also going to assign the moment end plate connection. Let's start with member 18. We'll select member 18, go to utilities, connection tags, view tags. Here we're going to assign a flange plate connection. Let's open up the tags dialog. We're going to go back to the smart connections which is a smart BCF. Under there we'll look for the flange plate BCF connection. We're going to assign it to both ends and we're not going to assign any releases because this is a moment connection and so therefore we don't need any releases. We hit the assign button and those additional connections have been assigned. Now let's also assign a moment angle connection to member 19. I'm going to click in the main window to deselect member 18. I'll select member 19 and we're going to assign that to the start of the member there. It's going to be the column flange moment angle connection. We'll go right here to our connection tags again. We're going to go to the same um, category and this time we're going to choose moment angle BCF and only to the start of the member no releases so we go ahead and click assign now that has been assigned to member 19 and lastly we're going to assign moment end plate connections to member 22 we'll deselect member 19 select beam 22 pull up our dialog box again. We're going to go to the smart BCF connections and this is going to be a moment end plate and 
we're going to assign that to both the start and the ends of the member. We'll hit assign. Okay, and that completes our round of connections. We can run our analysis and review these connections in RAM Connection. So let's run our analysis and head over to RAM Connection. Our analysis is complete. So let's go to RAM Connection and review the connections that we just assigned. You can see we have the fully welded connections that are in there. Uh, and we just added the flange plate connection. So let's take a look at that. So you can see the flange connection, flange plate connection is working. Uh, let's also take a look at the moment angle connection. There, that is working as well. Uh, there may be some adjustments we need to make in terms of the overhang of the angle on the flange. But that's easy enough to fix there by simply spacing the bolts. And let's take a look at this moment end plate connection. Moment end plate connection is working as well. And of course, you're going to get all your drawings and details for each one of these connections. Now that we understand the process of assigning connection tags and reviewing those connections in RAM connection, let's take a look at our full example model with a bunch of different connections already assigned. Here is our example model with many different connections assigned. Let's just take some time to walk through a few of these connections. They've all been assigned through the connection tags. So we left off at on our moment end plate connection. Let's take a look at this one here. This is just the end plate connection, so it's not a moment. Uh, it's your shear connection. Let's jump down to the double angle uh, beam girder all bolted connection. So here we have your standard W section framing in. And uh, you can see the bolted connection there. Let's look at our single plate connection beam girder. Here we have a channel connecting into our girder. Uh, let's take a look at a few others here. Here we have an end plate connection to a channel, shear connection. Let's keep moving. Here we have a flange plate that's connected here to the, not to the flange, but to the web of the column. And let's go keep moving here. We have a bent plate connection. So you can see that. Here we have a through plate connection. Let's look at some bracing connections here. So you can do all your bracing connections as well. Here's a base plate connection. Let's look at some X bracing. We also have Chevron bracing. Two different configurations for the Chevron bracing, one with channels and one with uh, hollow structural sections, round sections. Here we have a moment connection that is a beam splice. Here we have a column splice. And here we have a moment knee connection on, for the tapered members. Also, we have a horizontal bracing connection here.
and we have a horizontal bracing connection to the column. So that concludes all of the different connections that we have in this model. And now what we can do is we can look at the integration workflow where we take this information from STAD to our iTwin structural synchronizer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.